Oh no. You okay, James? Just uh, I'm we we I'm sorry. Your medical doesn't okay. cover the dick pump? Yeah. Is that, no. <laughs> he's upset. <laughs> I, Jimmy's mad. I did it wrong and my leg stuck out straight. <laughs> Uh, that's what that's what kills you about Norton is not only is he that fucking funny, but he's he's that funny peripherally. He's on those fucking s phone texting most oh, of the know, time, yeah, yeah. running in and out. And so, so, I don't know what he's doing out there, trying to fucking get his taxes done, and that funny out of the side of his mouth. I know. Just, yeah, that's why Jimmy is like he can multitask. He yeah. can do a lot of things. I, he I, he must be getting a picture with Joan Rivers. Is that what he's doing? I have no idea. Or he's, he's trying to get to the bottom of Or a picture with somebody else. No, it looked to me like he was in get picture mode. Because right. E-Rock was taking him over somewhere. I well, I've know. only seen rage like that from Jimmy when it comes to not getting a celebrity not photo. Not getting a celebrity so. photo. Exactly. And now I've, said, I've seen oh, it he's, several he's times crazy. in here where you'll just get a wave of just sheer hatred and, and angst. Yeah. and uh, Son of a bitch. <laughs> Did you fuck? <laughs> Couldn't get a picture. Fucking publicist. Fuck him. He gets like that. He gets all very, very yeah. angry. Uh, but uh, he ran out there and went down the, the hallway uh, where guests usually come popping out. So I'm, right. I'm assuming maybe photograph. Maybe he wants to talk to somebody and talk him into coming in. Do you think Joan Rivers is really hilarious? Uh, you know something, uh, Doug? Uh, people have different tastes in comedy. <laughs> comedy is very subjective. Uh, Jimmy finds uh, Joan hysterical. I was going to say, I when he said that, don't. I was going to say that I think she's a... And then I realized that I only know Joan Rivers recently from <laughs> Celebrity Apprentice. And then I, I, I was going to say that I thought she was a real, real fucking horrible cunt. And then I go, oh, wait, I'm going to look like a complete dildo for... <laughs> because I don't, I'm saying this based on Celebrity Apprentice. Oh, oh, Jimmy's talking with somebody. Oh, it's a meeting in the hallway. The arms are going out, too. Here it is. His hands are at his side, and then he'll turn his palms out forward and, and spread his arms out a little. He's talking and doing that. Like, huh? What? There's something going on. Let me hear. All right. Our, our, our resident rat. We're going to send Sam. our intern out. Our resident rat, Sam, <laughs> is going to go out and try to see what is being said. <laughs> Anything? Well... Because I was just talking to Liam, and we might be able to get it done. He's going to try to make it happen. I, I think they should make it happen. Mm -hmm. But because we passed on the one guy, it, it wasn't for any awful reasons. Rampage happens to be in town. Mm -hmm. And we wanted Rampage because we, we have really had him in many times. Of course. Rampage and Jackson, Jackson, I'm assuming? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And it's... Uh, for the A-team? Yes. They're doing the uh, publicity tour, yes, yes. And we had said... No to the one guy, because the movie people wouldn't give us Rampage. We didn't know why they wouldn't give us Rampage, and they wouldn't just say, look, he's not going to be in town. So we were kind of annoyed. So we said, well, we don't know the other guy. So now Rampage is in town. So I'm like, well, all right, well, let us... And like, well, you guys said no. It's like, yeah, I get that we said no, but this is why what we is were that? told something different. It's like, we, uh, it's not to knock the other shows, all right, but the reality is we have a, a much larger audience yeah. than probably most of them put together. And again, it's not a knock on the other shows. But you want, it's a male demo. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What's the game? I, Why I, are I, they playing I, this game, I, though? I, I said, this look. publicist you're doing? No, no, not the publicist. It's our people. And I said, well, why don't you just do the right thing by us, by this show? And again, they're going to try to. I understand they have other shows that have to be considered. But it's like, I guess when you're just being lumped in as one of the shows in a row on the platform and not being held out as a special show, it's like, all right, well, what's the motivation then? To behave, and again, I know they're going to try to make it work. Maybe they'll be able to. We shouldn't have to be obligated to take one person to get another person. And if it, it changes, shouldn't work that way. And if it changes, and if somebody, the guy who we originally asked for, shows up, then the word should be, "All right," to the publicist. Look, this is what happened, but it's better for you guys. Mm -hmm. We'll tell this other show. It's like if you're going to look at us all as, and again, I know I'm being a dick. But uh, I, I think that we should uh, get a little bit of a fucking priority. Yeah. Not yeah. fuck the other shows, but I think that if you're going to give everybody 20 minutes, you could wedge them in here and give everybody 16 minutes and make it work. Right. Um, you know, I think you could make it work that way. Yeah. But fuck those other shows. Oh, damn. Sorry. Oh, Doug Stanhope had to say that. Notice I said your name so no one gets confused. But no, you know us. what I'm saying? It's like. <laughs> no, no, Sam. 
I know what you're saying. Yeah, come on. It is. It's uh, it's silly. I I don't know why we have to be auditioned with another guest in order to get but the it, other guest. I don't even think anybody did it on purpose. I think that he just happened to be here. But I think that this is the company here going. Well, you guys said no, and it's like so we're kind of being. If you guys get a guest on your own that's like really high dollar, you know, high profile, do you like parade them around the other shows that they're not going to be doing? No, we don't like, care if they. We, I would love to just have them look at all the ones with our fucking name on the thing and go, "We're doing yeah, this yeah. show and not you." Ha <laughs> ha, not you. Oh, but not just give them a tour around the. Oh, let me show you the facility. Uh, this is Ron and Fez. Ha ha, I get fucking Bill Clinton, <laughs> Bill Clinton, <laughs> or whoever. That would, be, that would be a good one. That is one really. Uh, bad, stupid, um, idiotic. Give me some clues. I'm not, um, not even mad about. It. I'm just kind of speechless about. It. I mean, but Liam's gonna try. Man, I know he, he's a good dude. He's gonna try to make it work. But come yeah. on, man. We'll see what happens. We'll see. I know. I don't like the. I don't like the little bullshitty things that go on like that. Because we should get him. We've been very. You know, we've been. Very good sports as far as uh, MMA so goes. So I said, why can't we have yeah, I would Rampage? Yeah, this would be the perfect demographic. Uh, of course yes. it would be. So it's like UFC. the publicist is like, they're like, well, no, they want Rampage with them. And I'm like, well, they want to sell tickets to the movie? Yeah. Well, then why don't. would you have them come in here where this is the audience they're going for? Yeah. Angry white men. A-team sucks! <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's who we yeah. talk to. Where are they going? Fucking out queue? Yes. Are they, is is yeah. Rampage going to out queue? Yeah, that's... That's the gay channel. <laughs> No. Yeah. Well, I guess yeah. Uh, the UFC that. that makes sense. Is it is it called the gay team or the A team? Because I maybe I I was confused. A team. All right. Sorry. A. I thought maybe because that would be a whole nother movie with B A Baracus. Be gay and, I'm and sure it could, if, it could be big ass because oh. his ass would be big. If that movie isn't out now, it probably will be within three weeks. Yeah. The obvious gay porn knockoff. Oh, oh, the gay team. Yeah. Oh, it is. It has to be. Wait. It, the, the gay <laughs> team. Of course it is. The porno, the gay team. <laughs> there it is. There it is. After there it is. The big summer movies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there it is. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. You might want to take oh. that down in case we do get them. <laughs> Uh, and the the picture doesn't even try to spoof it they whatsoever. They are not even it's just trying. Three, 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 uh, yeah, at least get a black Costa Rican kids yeah. in, in bathing suits. A pity the fool got to take my cock. <laughs> <laughs> the gay team. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't see it happening, by the way. What? I don't think it'll happen. Call me Negative Nelly. <laughs> That's what they call me at home. <laughs> what the fuck were we just talking about, anyway? Lewis Black has uh, entered yes. the studio. Hey Lewis, guys. how are you, sir? Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, really great. Are you, uh, that oh, was yeah. a little sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, since they took my Shrek cups back. Yeah, there was lead. That was where my fortune was going to come. You, you invested heavily into sh in Shrek cups? <laughs> in Shrek, those Shrek glasses. And everything has lead in it. Yeah. That's because we're getting stuff from China. Well, it's also because when I was a kid, it had lead in it. Nobody gave a shit. Do you I was think like, it go just, for it? Like every everything always had lead in it, but now it's like now you. Well, they now just they know that there's lead. <laughs> you know, fifty years ago, they had no concept that lead did anything to you. People were licking. You know, there was lead in house paint. They were. You yeah, know, yeah. I was licking walls. <laughs> Nobody said, "Oh boy, this is bad." Now it's bad, so they figured it out. And then there's like you know 500 now chemicals in the pipeline that they've not even looked at yet. Yeah. So like you know, f 10 years from now they'll be telling us you know, well, well, this is bad, this is bad. And I do know that a penis, a, 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 a shot in your penis is can't tr that can't trump it's, sex can't trump getting a needle in your dick. A needle I in am your dick. Sorry. No, no, <laughs> that just seems to me like it's more pain than the pleasure would be worth. Yeah, I mean, I we're, just, uh, we're just sit around with a, you know... Yeah, you if, unless you're yeah. into that anyway. Yeah, yeah, maybe like you're into that. Sometimes I'm doing a lot of narcotics where I'm like, all right, this is the time for creepy shit. But I, <laughs> I can't feel my dick anyway. I've done so much MDMA and sure, pierce the thing there, roll a derby girl. <laughs> yeah, that might work. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, and I, th I think uh, with the lead thing, as far as, I think China becoming like a kind of powerhouse these days with their exports um all the, everything they make is lead yeah, everything lead. they make is lead 
Yeah. Well, they don't care. No. What do they care? They got a billion people. What do they care? Right. What do they do? They lose the two hundred million. They still got eight hundred million. What do they care? What they're they eating? Don't care. Sending out. But now they're shipping it out to the rest of the world. It used to be just kept in their own little corner of yeah, the fucking. But globe. we're so good at this shit. We're not going to look at anything anymore. And they were like, oh, boy, I can't believe this stuff showed up. Nobody looked at the dock. Nobody kind of figured out when the two eyes had different colors and was glowing. <laughs> that something might be wrong with the fucking toy. <laughs> There's a problem. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah. And then they go, no government. Well, that, that's the thing. Then No government. Nobody's going to check it out. Then it's called Tufsky Shitsky. Yeah. If you're going to let the Chinese. But now the Chinese are actually raising their wages. It's going to get really good. Oh, they are? Yeah. But that was like the bastion of cheap labor. Not anymore. Ah. They want stuff. Are they going to start striking and doing things like that? Oh, I hope like so. Are. Maybe, you know something? Maybe someday they'll have to export... Uh, there are jobs to to the United States to get cheap labor. We're ten minutes away. Are we ten minutes away from that? <laughs> oh, you know <laughs> we we're, are. We're sitting there in sweatshops making things with Japanese and <laughs> Chinese writing on shirts. Well, we lo you know if we lose the that entire coast down there, if we lose the both the Gulf, if, yeah. if we lose the Gulf, then what? You can just set up warehouses. Let's start making shit. Cause... We're we're uh, fantasizing uh, about uh, flaming hurricanes. Uh, as, as a hurricane forms oh, I, and picks up the oil wow, and atomizes wow. it and someone lights a cigarette, wow. uh, could you imagine a hurricane, yet it, it is on fire? We, we wow. were Worse talking about Katrina. Last night we were talking wow. about Mexican earthquake and then the oil tsunami. Oil tsunami would be yeah. great. <laughs> right? Black a Mexican tsunami. earthquake and then 10 miles inland, yep. oil. Wow, Great I think that, that is a phenomenal concept, that's the flaming good. hurricane. I was that's doing, a yeah. just write that's a, a, that's a cocktail. And copyrighted, because that's a movie. Oh, a sci-fi original. That's a movie. That's a sci-fi original. Some son of a bitch is going to beat you out. We're gonna, you're going to be watching happen. it in I'm two I'm going to be years. watching it and go, fuck, what did yeah. I do? What did With I do? Nicolas Cage. And then there's a, a, a scene <laughs> where you pull up to a Flaming BP gas sauce. station, and you go to fill up your tank, and scallops come out of the gas pump, <laughs> which should be uh, delicious, but, but very hard on your injectors. Yeah. I, yes, Chip? Yeah, you probably, your car wouldn't run to go with a bunch of fish and stuff in the tank. <laughs> no, Chip, it wouldn't. <laughs> that, that's Chip, by the way, yeah, no, no. Uh, in case you didn't know. Uh, Lewis, that, that's Chip. He's a load of laughs. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, uh, what is Lewis working on? I don't know. Uh, are... Besides his eighth cup of coffee, yeah. No, it's only one and a half now. Oh, is that it? Yeah, You've cut down. No, uh, okay. Yeah. No, no. no, I was writing a book. I've been writing a book, and I'm done with the book. What but book? It's for. It's a Christmas book. Oh, it's a stocking stuffer. Really? Yeah. What's it called? Uh, uh, Thanks I'm... for killing him, Jews. <laughs> 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 I'm dreaming of a black Christmas. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, cool. Black being Lewis Black. Yes. It and, always uh, works. It works for everything. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure does. Yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> it doesn't what a handy that. last name you It have. was. It was a lucky break. <laughs> Unless and, I was a happy fuck comic. And yeah. And it would have gotten in the way. Yeah. But no, but that's dark. what I've been that's doing. Good. I've been locked up. I've been in... You think, okay, and I finally thought, you know, I, I, now I get it. There's a rhythm to this, and I can, you know, it's the third book I've written, and, and I can do, and then still, you, no matter what you do, you, you eventually, you get to the point of, I mean, you, you, the, the level that you hate yourself is so beyond belief. Now you're immobile, and you're just staring at your crap, wondering why you're doing this, and it I'm just I'm just goes, trying to imagine you typing with those hands. <laughs> oh, I know, yeah. yeah. Just flipping around. Yes. Oh, oh, boy, that happens. Oh, yeah, no, it gets pretty... Then I had two, uh, now I have uh, I had two um, computers that, because uh, I got rid of, oh. one was one was going into the shitter, but it was like I'd go back and forth between the computer, and I would be sitting there typing on one board, and and and, and, uh, be in and not, it wasn't coming onto the computer I thought I was typing it into, it was stuff oh, like yeah. that. Oh, yeah, I'm really I've, good at I've this stuff. I've done that. Yeah, I'm really yeah. good at it. Two so, computers. You're one running. computer, one that he types on, and the other with, with the hard drive that can be thrown out immediately if the FBI shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Both a disposable hard drive. So, uh, all right, so you got a third book for me was hard, man, because I have not, like, I started and I have not been able to get through. Like, I just had not been able to just, you know how you have that click where all of a sudden you're motivated and you're and it's happening and you're doing it? I can't get to that point. Doug, let the authors yeah. talk, okay? <laughs> Don't chime in. Yeah. Well, the click, I mean, I, I just... Uh, they said to me, "That's what the book. The book's about. Uh, 
basically, I said it's a book about being uh, single dis- disguised as a Christmas book. Now, we were talking about this earlier, being single and uh, as opposed to being in a relationship. And uh, being single, do you enjoy your time alone or do you... Do you were you in relationships where you had extended periods of time with a girl and? No, I had long. I I mean until uh, a lot of long termers. Uh, until I really kind of went on the road. Yeah, I, I was. This is I, I went on the road and uh, and that was really when I went. You know, I I don't have to live with anybody anymore. <laughs> oh, so it was kind of good. You it liked was, it? Well, well, here's what I liked. I went, I was literally lying in a hotel room in some shit ass you know town and playing some shit ass club, you know probably the third or fourth week out on the road, and I'd been living with this woman who'd been driving me completely insane, and I was lying there and I went, what's that sound? I went, oh, it's silence. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> oh, it's going to be around for the all. Th- I'm going to get up and nobody's going to say you know start with nagging at me. This yeah, is like it's refreshing. So it was heaven. If we have if we have to interrupt you for a moment, we have uh, if we we have uh, we're probably going to get a couple of extra a people ramp, that are coming ramp. in. Sure. For ten yeah. minutes, I, I apologize for doing don't that. Worry. We didn't, I don't, a, I have no don't light. you worry. Okay, because you're here don't hanging. Don't you worry. But now it's like Liam. I think we'll make it work. Uh, it, it looks like uh, Shanto Copley and uh, and Rampage will come in for a few minutes. They're uh, promoting the aim the A team. The Shalto, AIM team. Shanto Copley, um, by the way, was hysterical. In District Nine, who did he play in District Nine? He was the main he was guy. The guy. Oh, he wow. was the main guy, and oh, like that character. The more I watched that movie, I think I've watched it three times. I really like it. The I first love time that I watched movie. it, I was like, okay, whatever. Are they going for a message thing here? And then I realized this movie is hysterically funny. It's it's, it's that terrific. That guy is just okay. Here, come here, sweet. Come <laughs> yeah. here, sweet. And the thing throws a can at his head, and he gets all mad at it. <laughs> oh, that guy like, was tremendous. He's yeah. hysterical. They're coming. Oh, they're coming down now. Oh, yeah. You guys yeah, can yeah. say we got yeah, Mike's right the, cou- We have the very oh, important, on? the very important yeah. celebrity couch. Yes. <laughs> not not the comic chairs. Wow. There it comes. <laughs> yeah, they are. Gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen, how are you? How are you? Thanks for coming. Nice Very good. Hi, 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 hi. Pleasure. Oh, nice how are you doing? Yeah. We have a book. Yeah, we have a book. Yeah, yeah. yeah got many times. Well, guess Rampage. what? I get punched for a living, you don't. What's so, that? I get punched for a living, you don't. So, we so your your brain part better than mine. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I wouldn't go. Don't don't. Yeah, let's nah, stop pushing. Right, huh? I've been drunk every <laughs> night for 20 years, so I kind of know the feeling. Yeah, you've been, you've been drunk every night for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like getting wow. punched in the head every day. What what what, what was you drinking? Last, what were you drinking last night? Uh, last night, well, I was I was flying. I was drinking uh, vodka, grapefruits mostly. You were flying. Oh. Yeah. 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 Literally yeah. a figure. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I was no, say, like, were you drinking and flying? That's I, not good. Yeah, you do not say that in front of Shouto about drinking and flying, because yeah. Shouto, he, he, he's a flyer himself, and he takes it very seriously. That's about the only, that's about the only time, when, no, he's not even serious when he do that, but that's, the, that's when he's the most sane. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a pilot's license, you mean? Are you, for real? Dude. I don't, and I'm so I so wish that I could fly. I'm actually, if we make a sequel, I'm seriously going to try and get Fox to like <laughs> give me the real pilot training. So you guys, uh, the, the 18th 18, is obviously coming out. When is yeah. it coming out? 11th of June. Okay, it comes out June 11th. Yeah. And uh, Rampage, this is your first uh, bit of acting work, or have you done anything before? No, uh, uh, don't you know? Don't um, don't bring it up, Shalto. Let me bring it up. Okay. But I've actually uh, done other movies. I've done like a. Uh, Sorry, no, 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 please go. <laughs> say, say the name, I love it. That's not the only movie I've done. Shato. No, no, I know, I know, no. I'm not going to bring up that movie. And it's a good movie, it's just an well, unfortunate not, name, that's all I'm, I'm saying. I hate that you guys ask me this question because Shouto won't let me live it down. I'm not going to bring up that movie. I didn't movie. raise it, he raises it. But he I've done what other you did. movies. That's not the only movie I've done before. Okay, I'm just saying. What's oh, the name oh, of that oh. movie? What movie? The other one you did. The other movie. I've done. With Bradley movie. Cooper. Ladies and gentlemen, Bradley Cooper. You know what he said? In, in. Just get it done. In? I've done a horror movie with Bradley Cooper before, and the name of the movie was Midnight Meat Train. Midnight, Midnight, Midnight Meat Train. Midnight Meat Train, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. That's a, that's that's a, that's a yeah, What's wrong movie. with that? It doesn't sound no. gay at all. That's a great <laughs> name for a film. <laughs> <laughs> Midnight Meat Train. I know. It, it, I never thought I never thought it sounded gay. But I just thought it sounded like a porno or something. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. And I didn't want to do the movie, but I was like... Who am I to not do a movie because of the name? I'm not, I'm not like established and it's celebrity. And it's a good movie. I mean, yeah, it was a, no, it's it's a great a good flick. I've seen it really good. good. I've seen it a few times. It's, I, it's a good yeah. film, but yeah. Shalto won't let me live it down because I did a film called Midnight Meat Train. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he, and look, Shalto is a good friend. And you know what I'm saying? He, he's cool sometimes, but 
if you guys just really get to know him, he really annoys you. Like, really? Like, 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 when you asked me that question, no, I was like, see, oh my goodness, goes, I know. Yeah, this is the thing, something. we're supposed to have like a chemistry, and then he just starts with a snapping thing, you know. I've just been trying to reach out to him the whole time on the phone, you know, just be, yeah. show him love, show him support. No, Shanto showing show you love, showing you support is like, when we first met, you know what I'm saying, we was like both... Uh, obviously, A Team fans, and I thought I was the biggest A Team fan, which I was cool. Somebody was a bigger A Team fan than me, but 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 Shouto like trumped me when he told me he had the Mr. T birthday cake. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I ain't never had no Mr. T birthday cake. Then he said, No, 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 that I was an A Team gang. You know what I'm I saying? I did. I had an A Team gang at school. Wow, For that real, yeah. must I have was been ten tough. years old. I was playing A Team. I started the gang, and then this rival gang. Started. They the, want to be the A team as well boats. in the class. So we so we challenged them and we said, okay, stakes are whoever loses agrees to walk away, not be the A team. We had a, we went down to the field. We had a we had a fight. We won, thankfully, because oh, it would wow. be a really bad you story if we lost. I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah. <laughs> but look, this no, this is him. This is him. I had to hear this the whole time on set about his 18 game, and he would tell me stories about how his, what his what his 18 game did. And I, I, I would think it's so much of him like telling me the stories about eight, or reliving it. I think it was more of him bragging to me that he had an 18 gang not he quite was, a blood or a crip though no 18 not, yeah. gang uh, 18 kind of gang. lower on the, i don't think that's going to be shown on gang Africa, Land, man. It's, pretty, show. it's pretty serious there it's you know yeah yeah i've heard i've heard well i, I think about I, you South know what Africa. really really i didn't think of that i felt bad because I, I i used to get approached by gangs because as a kid i always been a fighter i always been a good fighter and like this this one gang called gd I used to call them glazed donuts, but that's another. That's, you know what I'm saying? But they were like said for gangster disciples. Sound tough. And, 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 okay. okay, I call them glazed donuts. That's the worst thing you can call them. And and, and they used to always jump me because they wanted me to beat. They used to want to try to fight me. They used to always want me to be in a gang. They would jump me and everything. And I and I was totally against gangs my whole life just because uh my upbringing and and, and the person who kind of took me in up under his wing. You know what I'm saying? He was he wasn't a real good guy, but he wasn't a real bad guy either. He just told me gangs was for cows and stuff like that and, mm. and like those type of gangs. But anyway. I wish there was an 18 game when I was a kid. I would have joined the 18 mm -hmm. game. That's why I'm so jealous, you know, and he keep rubbing in because, uh, like, an 18 game can go and. Uh, you in the movie, people. though, man. So I, I know I'm in the movie, you, but yeah, yeah, can go yeah, and yeah, and and you do a great, sure. He does a great job of BA. Unbelievable, yeah. yeah. But Unbelievable. If, there need to be, if there are going to be gangs on the street, why not have an 18 game? You know what I'm saying? You can help people instead of go and do bad. You know, wow. why, not, why not be an 18 to, game? Who wants to help people? We had a Cheers game. I was Carla. You actually look like you're nursing a hangover. Right now, <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Bit. Yes, sir. Charlotte, I got to ask you a question about yeah. uh, District Nine. Okay, w was that when when the movie starts? Was the spaceship real? Is what he real? wants to ask. <laughs> it, when, when, the when the movie starts, your character is very funny. Yeah, and and it wasn't until the second or third time I watched the movie that I realized how goddamn funny that character is. I'm glad. I'm glad you w find it funny because yeah, yeah, yeah. We I, I did as well. And, and was it supposed it's not to be? played that way or was that kind yes. of written like that or did you yeah. just play it that way because it's like this guy is tragic and hysterically funny yeah. well it was actually it was actually going to be more even more comedy throughout um originally like like when peter jackson saw what i originally did in the in the little sort of accidental test that i had done yeah. you know i was meant to produce that film but that's another whole story so w w when he saw that peter was actually calling it like a borat with aliens um, <laughs> and, it, it, it was. God damn, that's great. Yeah. And we it made it, we made it though. Though I mean, I think Neil's natural thing of what he wanted to do was was, although he's like one of the funniest guys I've ever met in my life, he he naturally kind of gravitated towards the soulful sci-fi kind of element. So he actually toned down some of the humor that we shot. We shot a lot of funny stuff in the beginning. Um, and I also felt once I had that prosthetic on me, I just felt like the guy wouldn't be as geeky. He, he would be a more dramatic change, you know yeah, what I mean? Because it was a drastic change from the goofy kind of yeah. guy. When, when my favorite scene, and I hate just bringing it up because there's no reason to except to say I loved it. When the little the little creature and you know he could be a sweet sweet, and it throws that thing at your head and you just the sweetie hurt. man coming, sweetie man coming. <laughs> and it, you, it throws the thing at your head and you just curse yeah. at it. Yeah. <laughs> Hysterical. Uh, I, was, I just thought you did such a great job with that uh, thanks, movie. I, and like I said, I watched it three times, and uh, I'd watch it again. It's it's hysterical. It's a movie that like you don't expect to be as as deep or as good as it is. It's, you think yeah, it's just yeah. gonna be like a sci-fi alien movie, and it really is about this guy trying to get back with his wife. It's like it's got a, like a real storyline. You gotta which watch you never it a few expected. times. Like you really do have to watch it a couple of times to pick up on on 
the, the fact that it is kind of a deeper story than, than most and people And that's why I became a fan of Shouto when he did this nine. But you guys should see the job he did with Murdoch. Yeah, huh? Like, uh, I can honestly say, selflessly, and I'm a big fan of A-Team. And that's all that matters to me is that uh, the movie turned out good where, uh, where we can... Uh, where the old fans can be like proud and and we can gain new fans. So I'm taking myself out of there, even though uh, back in the day B A stood out the most out of everybody. I don't care nothing about that. What I what I care about is the movie is really good and 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 Murdoch, you know, was 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 the man. And, and B A Murdoch was you couldn't me you couldn't like one without the other. They they, they went together. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah it's true, and, man. It's true. It's true. And, and, they, and Murdoch they, stood out in this film. He stood yeah. out the most in this film, and he was a, the the closest to the original. Murdoch ever, and I'm so happy, and so I was so happy when when I when I saw the film, I, I couldn't believe it. Have you heard from uh, Mr. T at all or anything? Have you? Uh, is he angry? We trying. <laughs> both of us, both of us are like yeah. huge Mr. T fans, and and yeah. I got to meet Dwight uh, Schultz, who played my, yeah. you know, who who invented Murdoch really, because he. Um, that character was not written like that. I learned through the process. He's rubbing it in again. Um, and uh, <laughs> it, it's it's yeah, it's sad. I mean, the two of us were like we we literally. Quentin is such a big fan. He's actually getting an A team. He's trumping me now for the cake. He is buying an A team van. So we're going to take oh, the van. Damn. We figured we're going to take the van. We're going to go and camp outside <laughs> Mr. T's actually, house. Actually, I'm getting the van for free. The people who did my air ride on my you truck. You're getting it for free. Cameraman air ride out an hour. They, make it, they are making my A team van for free right I'm now. Gonna, I got to do a little talk. deal with them. But a uh, Kelderman oh, air ride, they, you know what they do? They put the air, air suspension on your. on your. They, I got a monster yeah. truck. And I and when, it's, when I drive next to another monster truck, if it's a little bit taller than mine, I go, shh. Oh, I can pick mine yeah. up. Because I don't like people chopping <laughs> me. And Shato always chopped me. So I don't like that. I'm, I, I hate that. So, and so one of those so, old eighteen vans that yeah. would look really cool. Oh, He's yeah, literally this, getting the actual getting. van. And no, you but... could put a sticker on the back that says, "If this van is a rockin', I'm beating the shit out of someone inside." <laughs> Damn, that's what I'm gonna get. <laughs> are you gonna fight again, or are you like the acting is just like a much I easier did, lifestyle? I, I just fought a couple. Like, no, uh, I know. I, mean, I, I just got my shot. ass whooped the other day. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, 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 I like fighting. I'm a fighter. I've been a fighter my whole life. And I, I, I know you did not get your ass. You didn't get whipped, your ass whipped. Though, I thought I you had him say, in the third round. I don't want to harp on this, but I just, for the record, don't want to say that. I, I haven't seen, I haven't seen the fight, so I just, I just felt like I didn't do it. I didn't do, you know, up to my. Was, you got fight, your yeah. ass held for a significant yeah. length of time. <laughs> I, yeah. well, you know what? I mean, in a, not, you know. What I mean. uh, well, well, honestly, I thought the guy was going to come and bang out, bang with me more because he talked so much crap. And when he, and when he hit me. Uh, I didn't even see the first one. When he hit me and he and he like um, um, uh, dazed me and make me fall, I'm like, yeah, I'm in a fight now. Let's do it. And he just then he just wrestled me the whole time. So that's another story. And, and I, that's another story. But yeah, I'm gonna keep fighting. You know so you want to do yeah. both? You want to keep acting? Wanna, keep fighting? I, I want to try to do both. Why not? Try? You must see this guy act, man. It was just there was a lot of people were saying like, oh, when, what is he gonna do with 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 this character? And is he gonna you know live up to it, etc. And I. It was the thing about him on, on, on set, and, and Liam was saying this, and Bradley was saying this, um, that he's just got a genuineness that comes across, you know. And what I liked with what he did with Mr. T, obviously the old Mr. T was incredible. He was his own thing, and, and the whole role was written for him, you know. Mm -hmm. So what what I think that Quentin did so amazingly was he brought, like, he brought a, like a heart and a warmth and a charisma to this character, you know, which which you need in order for the for for the for modern audience. He can't just be flat out bad the whole time and just boom, yeah. boom, boom in your face. It would it would be boring to watch, you know. So he brought he brought some layers into this BA character, but but stayed true to the original. Obviously, when I hit you, you're gonna feel it type of thing, which was which was awesome. We have to. They're telling us we have to wrap you guys because oh, they did us it. a favor by bringing you guys in because yeah. it was a mix up you, schedule. You want wrap us with what? <laughs> Whatever you nothing, want. Nothing. <laughs> Believe me. But uh, could, do could people die in this, by the way? They do. Yes, yeah, they, 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 in the they, original they, series, there were never any there's casualties. Not, there's yeah, nothing like the original series like in, the, in, the, in the aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Let's shout to tell you, though, but Just for real. Yeah. It's, yeah, for real. it's real. So it's, uh, it comes out June 11th. Uh, Charlotte Copley, of course, as as uh, uh, Murdoch. And we all know Quentin as uh, uh, B.A. Baracus. And uh, we're glad you guys were able to come in. And uh, thank you guys. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Thanks yeah, for having we us. we uh, we love both you. You're fucking District Nine. You're a fantastic actor, and thank I'm happy so to much. see you're doing yeah, well. And and wait till you see this guy, man. And yeah. tell Shouto to get on Twitter. Yeah, I you need to get, to get on, on Twitter. Twitter. Need, Shouto need to get on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. I'm Rampage the number four real together. Rampage for real. I'm on Twitter, and I, and I be I be doing the thing they call tweeting. Yeah. I'm on, I'm yeah, on, I'm on Facebook and it's connected to the Twitter, but I don't Twitter directly. That's I Twitter via Facebook. That's what I do. Oh, okay. Twitter by process. Just stop hey, it. You see, look, you do Just the same thing it. alcoholic does. Yeah. You, really? Yeah. <laughs> and you do the same thing this, this alcoholic cool. does. That's like, not cool. That's not cool. Do Twitter via Facebook? Because it's not a real tweet. 
It's but like yeah. he has a picture, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and okay, then, then you question. tweet that. It's like, what, what is he stop doing? It, stop I it. It's question. all bullshit. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it you, is. No, it's you not. Some I am telling you, it's bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm going to prove you wrong right now. I'm going to prove you wrong right no. now. I'm going to prove you wrong right now. I'm going to prove you wrong right now. I'm going to prove you wrong. Listen, I'm going to prove you wrong. It's fucking nonsense. I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to Twitter shit. Nobody gives a fuck. They do. I'm in the grocery store. Hey, you ain't got this. I'm going to prove you wrong. Hey, sure. Shut up, fool! Let me prove you wrong. Let me prove you wrong. What are they paying you to twist? They don't pay me nothing. Uh, they are truly an idiot. Well, shut up, fool! Let me tell them. Oh no, I'm gonna tell them. I can't believe I'm yelling at you. No, I can't believe I'm yelling at you. Hey, no, this this is, hey, this is hey, a good I'm gonna prove him wrong right now. That's right. I don't know a lot of people in New York. I put on my Twitter. I'm I'm landing in New York. Don't know what to do. Stuff like that on my Facebook. Bam, my fans, I trust my fans. Dude, are you twittering I can, to all get my fans like, No, no, no. No, listen, 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 listen. My fans, yeah. my MMA fans, they're my friends. And they, and they, and they, one of them hooked me up, boom, boom. Got me to a club last night and told me which way to go, which club was best. Got he me is. a table. He's, he's twittering then, to get girls. To get girls, yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. Then, you know what I mean? You know, That's you know, abuse. I, I, Isn't that abusive you know, I'm in a club on the floor with my shirt off drunk. <laughs> because, because of a friend. That I did not know. I met on Twitter. Gave me some information. I never would have got that. I, I, I hate to cut this short, but we really yeah, got to do it. Why y'all kicking us out of here? We're not. They're making us. We don't care. They're, they're, they're they're by yeah. the way, that's the next wrong, time yeah. you say you're going to prove Lewis wrong, I say a fist between the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> should be really a proof. Yeah, yeah, Jesus Christ. Tear the door off. shit. He's giant. He just took his jacket off. I love it. He's wearing, oh my God. He's like, what? Oh, damn! Oh, oh look at Lewis trying to be tough. Oh, Jesus. I'm not going to say it now. No, say it now. <laughs> no, because I yelled before. Because I'm in your face. Say it now. Say it now, sucker. Say it now, sucker. Say it now, sucker. On Twitter. In Lewis's defense, he shakes like that anyway. I'm not shaking. I'm going to make you Twitter. No, you're not. <laughs> well, if, they, <laughs> if they weren't paying him to tweet, well, they should start me. paying well, him now. Yeah, exactly. That's, wow. That was right. a moment uh, You know what we're going to do? <laughs> take, a quick break. take a really quick break. We'll come back and wrap up right after this. Thanks. Hi, everybody. You know, the hit uh, HBO series Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's now on basic cable. Watch this hilarious, critically acclaimed series on Wednesdays and Thursdays at 10 p.m., 9 p.m. Central on the TV Guide Network. What? What? What happened? Years ago. You saw it? Why? Yeah, why watch it again? We've already seen it. But, Move uh, on. Mr. Not the DVDs. Mr. Bennington, it's going to be on the TV Guide Network. and uh, Oh, reruns on TV. It sounds fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, it's... But you know, yeah, I, I remember watching HBO years ago. I go, I want to watch Larry David, but with a scroll going underneath <laughs> of all the other shows. Yeah, but it's for people that might only have basic cable. You know, oh, they don't have HBO. Oh, yeah, like grandmothers. Yeah, they'd really like Curb. <laughs> yeah, right. They, uh, they, they, they'd love it. This oh. is, it's great because now you get to see it with bleeps. It's really <laughs> good. It's fantastic. On the TV Guide yeah, Network. Yes, on the TV Guide yeah. Network. And you find out what's on the other channels while you're watching. No, I don't think they show the TV Guide at the same time yeah, as they the do. program. Yeah, they do. Do they? It scrolls? That's very odd. If I was doing a live read, I would know my product. But that's the difference. <laughs> I, that's the difference between me and you. I'm a professional broadcast. You're, you're Opie's friend. I know. He's not, he's not here today. Whatever. You mean to tell me they're going to show Curb Your Enthusiasm, and on the bottom they're going to scroll what's on TV? Yeah, well, and some weather. There's just occasionally, you know, oh, it's going to be hot later. All right, well, that's just plain silly. Do your read. Do your read. It's uh, good. Okay, all right, and directly we following. Been done, Fez would have wrapped this up by uh, now. I know, believe perfect. me. I've heard the way he, he yeah. plows right through your bullshit. Yeah. He goes <laughs> right through it. Yeah, he doesn't, uh, it's like he doesn't even fucking hear me. No. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Everything's okay. So finally, <laughs> curb your enthusiasm on TV Guide Network. <laughs> he said the wrong name. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and the weird thing is he's in the office hearing this right now and crying <laughs> they're laughing at me not with me I'm going to uh, directly following Curb Your Enthusiasm on the TV Guide Network is the all new Curb The Discussion oh, see yeah. now this is the extra thing it's hosted by uh, Susie Essman she's brilliant who we love uh, the show features big stars media pundits and more in a no holds barred debate about the issues of each episode. Okay, now okay. I'm in. Now I'm definitely in. Now it's, it's giving you something that HBO didn't give you. Right. An interactive yeah. kind of uh, you, you, Q and A. You, 
Uh, yes, Lewis? We will, that's just, I mean, I love Susie and I, and I love Curb, but that's, yeah. that's psychotic. It, it, you don't like the idea of a discussion about the show? You know, that's like it's Sunday school, okay? <laughs> Here's the yeah, story yeah. of what happened, and now let's have a discussion like, of the ethics. Did you, oh, no, you, did, you agree, did you agree with Larry David when he went into yes. the neighbor's house and used that bad yeah. language? Yes, I mean, really, you've got somebody who, you think it's, it, yeah. let's discuss. Let's bitch. go to Michael Moore, who's going to tell us uh, about the last episode. Episode. I mean, it's fictional characters. They're fiction. It's fiction. That's <laughs> fake. Oh, I thought that they were really. I thought it was. <laughs> but it's, not like everybody the can, Truman Show. Not everybody can figure out TV. So ah, this gives true. them the opportunity on the TV Guide yeah. channel. On the TV Guide uh, channel, yeah, which yeah. will have all that stuff. On. My have God, all the stuff yeah. that you need It'll to read about. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna keep going, of course. Uh, <laughs> and watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, every, it's on Wednesday. You know, the and whole Thursday. thought of someone yeah. showing you a notice so that you don't read it out loud. <laughs> That's, that's, that's basically so the people at home don't know that you're getting a note or else he would have just said it. Uh, you know something? That's why Ronnie Bennington is the greatest in radio. He knows things like don't read the note right. on the air. It's just silly. You're not supposed to. Uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays at 10 p.m., 9 p.m. Central on the TV Guide channel. Finding the TV Guide uh, network? Uh, in your area, go, go to, to TV Guide. Go to TV Guide. <laughs> yeah. uh, dot com, of course, in this yeah. day and age. But of course, just uh, go to the TV Guide channel. It's it's right there. Uh, Ronnie Bennington. I, I feel like did I take your mic, Jimmy? I'm gonna, I want to take. Stay, no, stay, stay, stay. He's honored. Work. Stay. Okay. He's honored. Believe yeah. me. Yes. Uh, we. I've been listening uh, closely mm -hmm. with the uh, the Dave uh, situation. Right. East Side Dave situation. Um, I must admit, I thought it was a work at it first. Is. It because is. It's it is. It's it a is work. a work. Just stay tuned, and he'll be back. Because when I heard <laughs> when when I heard the Midnight Rider music playing the other day, I was waiting to hear him yeah. hooping and hollering and, and coming in. Yeah. Uh, but no, this. I mean, he he is he is gone. He's gone. Uh, but he's uh sending. E well, he's having his people send emails to Jeremy. Oh, is that what he's doing? Now, yeah. what is that supposed to accomplish? I don't know. At this point, Jeremy, come over. People in North Carolina. Uh, uh, Doug's. Who's his people? On. Sorry, your mic was off. Oh, so I just asked, uh, uh, when you said his people are emailing, are those yeah. the people in North Carolina oh, that own the chair, the, the chair factory? Fa he, if he is ever working in that fucking chair factory, that brilliant red-headed douchebag right. in that chair factory. Yeah, I bet you didn't get in trouble for sitting on a job or something when you're there, you know? Oh, shit. They probably would. I, I will say this. He Yesterday he applied, and I'm not even fucking making this up, Costco. 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 Where you buy the giant paper towel rolls and it's everything. It's all there else. for you. It's everything you need. And that's going to... He's going to be happy doing that. I don't know. You know what? And this is nothing against anybody mm -hmm. that is involved with Eastside Dave. But didn't everything just come crashing down right after he decided to get married? Well, yeah, but that works that way for everybody. That's I what I mean. I think we've all been through uh, that. That's what I mean. I've done the same thing. Right. Believe me. And then having two kids, probably not the best responsible idea as far as finances go. I didn't even think about this, but you might be on to something I, I bet, right you now. Know, that's why, Ronnie, I like to, you know, cluing in on some of these okay. things that you might have just not <laughs> thought about. Yeah. That a guy making shit for money right. probably shouldn't have two children a year apart. Well, you know, you could have my background, which is an uncomfortable amount of abortions. Just, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what it is. Why, why some no people, amount of yeah. abortion that is uh, less comfortable than actually having a child. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, and, no amount. But I have, I have that friends number doesn't that, exist. I have friends that can't sleep at night over it. Just wondering. That's why they made Xanax. <laughs> oh, good point. <laughs> like where the inside of her pussy looks like Bud Dwyer's mouth if he shot himself. <laughs> the um, oh, oh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of like it, it, there's this void without. Mm -hmm. It is. We all feel it. We all feel like it. I, now, what, what are your plans uh, for maybe the show? For uh, is there going to be a replacement? Are, are well, you going to wait it out and see if he? You know, I was listening to you guys company? today. I'm thinking you're onto something with bringing in an uncomfortable amount of black guests, where it's just <laughs> yes, black gangster guests, <laughs> one just, or more, yeah, <laughs> that misbehaving. Was, that was true. We had a guy that had probably, and I don't know anything, but in yeah. my opinion, perhaps murdered people. Oh yeah. And did you um, see the documentary? 
I did not just the, the film. I the documentary not. is scarier than the film. Really? really? Yeah, because New York in the seventies was just oh, that was scary. I'm anyway. fucking manageable. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, yeah. Know, you know Frank, who Frank Lucas yeah. is, and he's, yeah. he was yeah. a scary guy. Yeah, they were all scary. Everybody who lived in New York in the seventies yeah. was frightening. <laughs> <laughs> just, every matter. citizen was fucking frightening. Just those big taking those big old buses that just blew <laughs> smoke out everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Times Square was just a frightening place. Yeah. Now that guy we had in here today, like he was, you know, he was a very nice guy, but that's that's not the guy you want to fuck with in the 70s and even still Ooh. now a guy like that will make a phone call oh yeah you're and done. you know you're, you're dead because yeah. he's still connected i'm gonna call some pipe hitting niggas right yeah, yeah you don't you don't make a million dollars a day and then all of a sudden just move to the suburbs and know nobody I'm no. just bit, i hope no. you were quoting a movie i hope there's this <laughs> yes. is no, that just, just bounced into your head Pulp for fiction. a second it just, <laughs> not now you know what <laughs> yeah, i figured i use it at home right. i'm using it here right that's, I use it in my car. I use it in the bathroom. <laughs> I use yeah. it in my sleep. <laughs> How yeah. many guns do you have now? Uh, I believe I'm up to about 35 yeah. Uh, guns. Yeah. I just bought a 50 caliber. That's I saw just that. Just amazing. I saw the pictures that a you Barrett had. A Barrett 50 cal. Who'd you get that from, Arnold Schwar Schwarzenegger? Yeah, it's just a giant it's just, movie gun. It's a giant. It looks like a fake uh, <laughs> yeah. gun. The bullets don't look real because they're just too big to actually. Be. It's it's like artillery, mm. and when you shoot it. Uh, I said the only way I could describe it is you feel like you have the flu for five seconds. <laughs> it, it shakes you up so much, the concussion, that you're just disoriented. You feel like you have a fever. Your nose runs. And then it goes away, and you're like, I'll fire another shot. This is fantastic. Every single time, it just shakes you up. It, it, re I don't understand how the Marines that are using these weapons in, in the Middle East can do this all day long without shaking their brains out of their ears. It hurts you. It's like you were punched in the face. It gives you you ever get punched in the nose and it's a distinct feeling yes. that you get in your head? That's how you feel every time you fire this weapon. It's disturbing, but there's something addictive about it where you have to just keep going back and sure. firing more rounds. Where do you do that? Um, Basement. Uh, Uniondale. <laughs> out on Long Island. Sometimes the Bronx. Uh, I got, yeah. Th that shell, the one on the left is the shell that I use um, for that. Wow. It, it's, it's insane. It's really a thumb that you can actually just take and stab somebody with. I was, I was holding it going, it's a weapon in itself, just a shell, because you can stab somebody well, you, with it. Well, it's easier to use that than put a needle in your dick. Well, that's <laughs> true. You just put that right down the shaft and uh, go to town. Or just put that in her vag and watch television while she comes. <laughs> See, uh, I did have a girl say that she picked up the shell and said, I would like to uh, fuck myself with this. I said, be my guest. That's, well, yeah. Well, then I wasn't off. <laughs> <laughs> I the lead very, part very might close. be a problem. <laughs> you might have a, a problem with the, yeah, your vagina after lead exposure, <laughs> but go to town. Have fun with it. Uh, no, the, uh, the, the guns, I have, I have about their f 35 now p pistols and, and rifles. I need one more gun to complete my collection, and then I will be done. It is the civilian version of the MP5. It's what every bad guy uses in, like, uh, I, every old 80s bad guy movie, Die Hard, yeah. kind of things like that, the little machine gu uh, gun pistol thing. I can't wait to, you know, I get the chance to go on CNN during your Waco moments. <laughs> uh, yeah, I worked with him, man. You know, he was so normal for a while. And then you just start to slowly lose it. It'll be really great. Anyway, we're on 11 to 3 if you be talking about it more. Yeah. No, but you're the one guy, nobody would say that. People would be like, well, were you surprised? No, not at all, actually. I'm surprised he didn't kill more people sooner. <laughs> we were talking. Talking earlier about how uh, how embarrassing slash uh, disturbing it is that at home uh, I like being alone. Now me and Lewis were just discussing this. It's, I was in long term relationships my entire life, mm -hmm. and I'm finally able to like just be alone at my house. Yet I have to find things to do, and I don't just want to watch TV. So I find myself uh, occasionally down in my basement, which is a bar area, mm -hmm. singing loudly on the karaoke machine. <laughs> In my shorts with a pistol on my hip. And just hoping a neighbor complains. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I know I'm alone, but I'm wondering how disturbing this looks to maybe 
dead relatives that are looking in well, on me. Uh, even that, like that thought I worry about. I mean, this sounds like after the atomic bomb went off <laughs> yeah. behavior. You got a lot of guns. <laughs> you're, sing <laughs> you're singing to yourself on a karaoke <laughs> machine. The guy in the Mike basement not even where he keeps his dead relatives. <laughs> I start, I, I'm telling you, put up a video and start posting it on YouTube. I think and within that, yeah. a month, you'll be seriously. I'll be a sensation. I, I can guarantee yeah. it. I might have to do that tonight. Find, I think tonight. find a hat. We may have to do costume. A hat? Yeah. Yeah, something kind of wacky we, we hat. Got a wacky hat. I, could, I actually have a Nazi helmet. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we don't even have to put it on. <laughs> Coming this fall. Yeah. That'll be a lot of fun. Just uh, label everything Crazy Gunman. Crazy no matter, gun. Don't use your it's real like, name. Dude, look, it's Crazy Gunman's new video. I love this guy. Did you see it? Yes. Response to Crazy Gunman. I love him. With oh, I'm going to do crazy that Crazy with a K. Cra oh, yeah, always. Oh, can I always. make that backwards R? Because that's good, too. Crazy with a K and a backwards R. Oh, looking forward to it. Uh, we got to make way for the yeah. wonderful Ron and Fez show. Oh, what a lovely text from my up. girlfriend. Nice. What happened? My farts are sickening. <laughs> that's what I fuck. <laughs> That's what I And fuck. she's beautiful. Doesn't matter. Her You've farts are girl, sickening. Right? She's fucking stunning, and her farts are sickening. Yeah. Same girl, well Jimmy? Well worth it. The well same, worth uh, it. I don't know. Comedian girl? No, 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 no. no, no, no. She dumped me well, a she's long a time car, ago. She's a car, though. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> uh, I guess we should get all the plugs uh, yes, out. Yes, get the plugs out. Now, here's the odd, here's the uncomfortable thing. Oh, uh, what? That at 11 o'clock, we have the great Ron and Fez program. Yes. And uh, because the powers that be don't realize that we share a lot of the same audience, they put my Boneyard show at 11 to noon. Why would they do that? I, just, I was you vehement about I'll, not doing I'll, it. I'll sit quietly. <laughs> I'll sit quietly gonna... for an hour. Simulcast it. Yeah. So I, will, simulcast I would never suggest people leave this channel for anything, so if you happen to just be people... Well, you know what? Just t <laughs> Here's the thing. At 12 o'clock, come back over here, and Susie Asman and I will have a wrap-up <laughs> of everything Jimmy talked about. <laughs> And now uh, we got plugs. So let's get everybody's plugs out. I, I'm, yes. I'm not even going to plug my own stupid Borgata dates July 2nd and 3rd. They're not important. Don't Fuck. do it. <laughs> Doug, where are you going to be? Doug, stand up tonight at the uh, Stress Factory and then Friday, Saturday in, uh, in here in the city at the Highline Ballroom. Mm, Just go to uh, right. DougStanhope.com. has all that shit. Doug is hysterical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, very funny gentleman. Louis Black. My special comes on oh, no. Saturday night. What channel? On the Comedy Channel. TV uh, got when what? Nine o'clock. <laughs> TV got <laughs> on Comedy Central. Lewis? Comedy Central. Oh, yeah. Yeah. DVD, which is actually where you actually hear the words. Ah, comes right. out uh, the fifteenth. So it's this Saturday. You that. use some potty language. A little, a little bit, a little, a little blue. blue. You were blue. so blue. I say black goes twice. blue. Oh, <laughs> look out! You were really oh. funny in that fucking. Oh my god! god. Just god. yelling about funny. Twitter. You called him an idiot too. That was my <laughs> yeah, idiot. It's like no one calls Rampage an idiot. <laughs> and, and it's like, yeah, do, you, do you understand? Like you, that it really is Rampage Jackson. That's just not a big black actor. That's yeah. the guy who yeah. makes his living just beating up people, putting yeah. people on the brink of death. That is what he does yeah. for a living. Well, obviously, he pushed a button. He reminded me of my mother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lewis actually said Rampage had very nice breath, which is a nice compliment. Oh, that's good. He does. That's good. Nice he fresh was, And he was very good natured about the whole thing. But it is. Yeah. It's like, a, you know, come on. Yeah. If I'm screaming about Twitter, who gives a shit? But he could yeah. have <laughs> shut you up in two seconds just by going, yes, I use it to get girls. Yeah, that was because it. Because then it's acceptable. Ball game over. Yeah, I believe you. Good. How great would it be for this show, though, if Rampage had just attacked oh. Lewis oh, and yeah. none of us helped? Well, oh, how no. would we help? How would help? I'd hold Lewis yeah. down. Go ahead, hit him. I'm gonna just shoot to, him and make him angry. And then to be able to do my weekend shows from a gurney. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but well, thank you, yeah. gentlemen, for it was coming great, in, guys. Uh, Jimmy, of course, and, and uh, uh, Frank Lucas. Yeah, so we, Frank Lucas we, uh, is be... you missed Frank Lucas yeah. being in today. We loved having him in. His signings at Borders tonight at uh, six o'clock, Penn Plaza. And, uh, yes. you know, Danny and everybody, and great the job. staff, of course. Danny, thank you so much. Okay. Mars, and, of course, Trav Dog and uh, uh, D-Boy, the disturbed D-Boy, who got us started off today with his great discussion about his show uh, that he watches where people cut things in half. Uh, have you seen that show where they just cut things in half? No, They've can't. run out of fucking ideas. They've run out of ideas. No, they haven't. It's a because, reality show, yeah. Because something. you're going to be on the you're going to be on the air. Soon. Crazy Gun Guy, <laughs> watch for Crazy Gun Guy we tonight on that. YouTube. We haven't run out of ideas. Not as long as we're uh, sitting here. Of course. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to the Opie and Anthony Show.